Okay, everyone, welcome back to part two of my May and June empties. And this is the uh, beauty part of my empties video. So a lot of holy grails in here, uh, and I will just get right into it. As always, I will do this mascara review lineup momentarily. First, let me just go through some of the other samples that I have. So I have two samples here of the... Smashbox Photo Ready Primer. The one on the left is just the regular primer, no SPF. The one on the right is my favorite uh, variant of the Smashbox primer. It is the one that has broad spectrum SPF 20 with Dermaxil Complex. Um, what's weird about this is this is intermittently available on Sephora's website. It pops up every now and then. I like to get the small sizes and just get like two or three of them that equal the same volume of product as the large sizes for less money, but they're not always available, so I have to stock up. A sample like this, or a, a travel size really, it's not really a sample, this is more of a deluxe size sample, this is a travel size, runs for about $12. And I really like it because it's primer and it has SPF built right in, so I enjoy um, kind of removing one less step. Both of these, though, are many people's holy grails, myself included. The next is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. This is the brightener version, so it's the more pinky shade. Again, this is something that all of YouTube talks about, and I do use it for my under eye circles, and I do like it. Another holy grail for me, this is the Beauty protector protect and detangle leave-in conditioner this is just a leave-in conditioner detangler smells amazing this is the birchbox brand i bought a full size because it is that good and i just refill these little bottles and take them with me i love this detangler it is so good and you can buy it with birchbox points so you can a lot of times get it if not for free really really cheaply i used up my full size the professional uh, from Benefit Primer. So this is a, if this is a silicone based primer, this is more of like a mineral feel. It's more like a cream. It's really nice. I use it and I do love it and I have bought the full size. If I had to choose between the Professional and the Smashbox, I actually think I would choose the Smashbox. Um, just because it's more... <sighs> I don't know I feel like it's more effective somehow this helps reduce pores more than that one this is more of a true primer um, this is a primer that reduces pores so they're slightly different pur purposes both products that I continue to re reuse all the time and both products that I love but if I had to choose just one primer I would choose the Smashbox this was a sample of the Fakai um, reparatives argan extract deep conditioning mask. I just forgot to show this in my skincare um, and hair care items in part one. This was a really nice mask. It smells phenomenal like all Fakai products do. This little tub lasted me three uses which I thought was really good and it's just a really nice deep conditioning mask. And then the last item before sort of this lineup if you will is this Milani um, this is the Bella line. These are the Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadows in Bella Sand. And this was just a casualty of my <laughs> um, sort of usage. It fell on the floor. <laughs> but I really like it. And if I can scrape up some swatchiness, see, oh, see how beautiful that is? It's gorgeous. I bought a new one. It just fell and cracked and I was sad about it. But these Bella eyeshadows, um, the gel shadows, are really, really, really nice formulations. Really inexpensive for a really nice kind of eyeshadow that you can get in the drugstore. Highly recommend. Alright, moving on to the lineup. Um, so these are the mascaras. I know it's crazy. Y you guys think I'm insane. And that's just a little bonus item for you over there. Um, you guys think I'm crazy to use these mascaras. I just... Here's the thing, I hadn't found one that I would consider my holy grail until this round. So now I'm in a position where I have found what I consider my holy grail mascara. I have one that is drugstore, one that is um, what I'll call middle 
high-end and then I have one luxury in here that is worth every penny and I feel like I'm at a point where I will actually stop buying other mascaras and just go for the luxury one just suck it up and go for it because it is that good so let me tell you about my experience the first one is this mac false lashes little sample that i got um, i think i got it for free in the mail i really didn't like it the wand you can see is just a regular wand it just didn't do anything and it also kind of um wore off really quickly and kind of left residue on the bottom of my lashes so I really didn't like that I was surprised that I didn't like it this bad boy is my holy grail I know I, I, I don't even know what to say I don't even know what to say except that I have already purchased the full price this is the Chanel Noir number no. 10 Le Volume mascara this stuff is the most amazing stuff I've ever put on my eyelashes. I'm sorry, I know it's really expensive. It runs for like $32, and I'm telling you, it is worth every single penny. It is so good. So this um, wand, I don't know if you can tell, the bristles just, they're very tightly packed, and they produce the best volume. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just... It's it's so unassuming this wand, but it is so effective. It gives volume like I've never seen. It separates like I've never seen. It is a um, it's on the wetter side the formula, but in a really nice way. I've I've told you guys before I prefer wetter formulas to drier formulas. It stays on all day without flaking. It does not flake. It stays on all day. It is the perfect mascara. I know I'm singing praises like nothing I've ever seen before, but it is literally that good. So I know it's funny to see two little samples side by side, but this one I would never use again, and this one is definitely my holy grail, my luxury holy grail. Can't say enough positive things about it. Okay, moving on. I'll go through these quickly. So this is the number seven Lovely Lashes for Glossy Natural Volume. Um, I got this as a sample in a free gift with purchase when I was abroad. This mascara, first of all, the wand is super short and I think ineffective. And number two, the mascara rubs off your eyes and you have to clean it up all the time. So I didn't like it at all. These two are interesting and let me speak about them together. So this is, of course, the Roller Lash by Benefit. It's their newest mascara. And this is the... Sumptuous Infinite Mascara by Estee Lauder, which has been out for a while. So, it's interesting. I used this in May. I used this in June. Let me show you the wands. So, I actually thought that this Sumptuous Mascara was a better version of the Roller Lash. And I think they're kind of dupes for each other. If you look at the wands, obviously the wand on the right from the Estee Lauder mascara is thicker and a little bit longer but you see how they both have that little like bristle that comes out on the side there and this one is obviously curved a little bit more that bristle is a really nice feature of both wands and it helps volumize and kind of separate the lashes really nicely but if i had to choose one of these i would choose the estee lauder and the reason i would choose the estee lauder is because the roller lash is super hard to get off at night it's a staple kind of trait of benefit mascaras i think that they're hard to get off they've made their own kind of remover for their their real mascara and to be honest that's too much work for me i shouldn't have to buy a separate product to get my makeup off at night whereas the estee lauder mascara the infinite the sumptuous infinite is really easy to take off and it stays on all day so there's no reason for me to, to, to have a mascara that stays on all day and, hard, and it's hard to take off versus one that stays on all day and it's easy to take off. And I really do think they're kind of comparable products. Um, and if I had to choose one, I would definitely choose the Estee Lauder. I really liked this mascara, the, the Estee Lauder mascara. I really, really did enjoy it. Um, and I would use it again. If I came across a sample or a really good deal on it, I would buy it. Two drugstore mascaras and this is the covergirl clump crusher um, by lash blast 
So this is, you know, a staple. People really love this mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It is a nice drugstore mascara. It is definitely a good uh, mascara for everyday wear. It has a nice kind of plastic wand, but my heart is with the Chanel. <laughs> um, I know it's a completely different price point, but um, you know, I used to use this one a lot. And if I had my choice now, I would spend a little bit more and get, if not even the Chanel, I would either get the Estee Lauder or I would get the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, um, which is a much more reasonable $20 price point. So this is a nice mascara from the drugstore, but it's, it's not something I'm going to buy. I would rather save up my money and instead of getting two of these, get one of the higher end ones. And then lastly, I was excited to get this. I got this in one of my subscription boxes. I think it was the Walmart Beauty Box. One of them, or maybe it was the Target one. I can't remember for sure, but this is the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Mascara with a VEC Grow Lash Complex. I was excited to try this. This mascara is so gloopy. First of all, the wand is like ineffective. It's thin and ineffective. Second of all, it gets everywhere. It's messy. It doesn't stay on. The lower lash line gets super, super um, messy, and I would never buy that mascara. I just, I don't think it's worthwhile. I think it's very similar to the number seven um, that doesn't last, and you know, I was happy to try it, but I would never buy it again. All right, this is not an, a mascara. This is the eyebrow definition eyebrow defining gel from Chella. So Chella is a nice company and I do really like their um, eyebrow gel. I don't really have a lot to say about it because I think a lot of eyebrow gels are the same. I will say this though, it doesn't leave white residue on your eyelashes. So as much as it looks like it has, you know, kind of a whiteness to it, it's just on the bristles. It's It doesn't come off on your actual eyelashes. I'm using a Rimmel um, eye gel right now that's clear but leaves a white residue. <laughs> so I'm kind of 0 for 2 on the Rimmel, it, it sounds like, but this Chella eyebrow gel is really nice. And then, last but not least, almost done, I have two lip products, which I think is unusual. I, I almost never actually finish lip products. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner. It's in the color 005 Pure. And this is the Ex Exaggerate by Lim Rimmel London um, Lip Liner. And I actually really like this stuff so much that I used it up. So you can see there's almost nothing left. Let me do a quick swatch for you. The creamiest lip liner that I have ever used. Um, so maybe I'm one for three now on the Rimmel front because this um, lip liner is my favorite. I've already repurchased it. They're hard to come by where I am but they are effective. It lasts a long time. It's super, super um, creamy when it goes on, and I really, really like the color. So A plus Rimmel for your, for your exaggerate line of lip liners. Um, really, really nice. And then, oh, I'm so sad to see this happen. This is the Bite Beauty Duo Lip, lip Stick. This is a vibrant, uh, a violet color. This is in the color Palomino, which I really, really love. And unfortunately, as you can see, it broke. And I was very sad to see that because as evidenced by the usage, I've obviously gotten a lot of use out of it. And I actually really like this color. I can't remember the name and I apologize. I will put it down below. You can get it full price. Um, and I've used it as well and I really, really like it. So. I'm going to see if I can salvage this somehow. Um, obviously, I can't use it because the, the right side is completely damaged. I can definitely use the left side. But I'm going to see if I can either salvage it or I'm going to toss it and just get another one. So, really nice lipstick. Let me swatch it for you. Yeah, salvaging is is not going to happen because I just tried to swatch it for you and it fell apart. And this side I had forgotten but was also broken. So here are some very makeshift swatches just because the items are 
broken, but the colors are lovely and I really use both sides of it and I really enjoy it and I will be repurchasing it. Just keep in mind that in the summer it will melt. <laughs> so that is my massive haul for you guys of products that I have used up. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you are able to get your hands on that mascara from Chanel, you will not be disappointed, um, as well as the sumptuous mascara from Estee Lauder, and basically anything on this lineup because, well, except for this one because that was a true try, but basically anything on this lineup because they're all holy grails. So with that, I, I do hope you enjoyed um, this very large empties video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I have been saving my trash up for you for months now, and I will continue to do so if you like these videos. Um, that's all for me. Take care, guys. I will see you soon.